Welcome to Talking Spoilers. Look out! Here comes the Spider-Man reviews. Well, this is our third try at it, but third time. Third time's a charm. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we hopefully. don't have to talk about this great movie ever again. <laughs> what did you think of it? I think it was awesome. The greatest Spider-Man movie to date. I'd agree with that. He uh, he surpasses both Tobey Maguire. And who's the other? What's the yeah, other Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. I I, I love Tobey Maguire's Spider Man. He didn't. He doesn't hit his movements as Spider Man is not uh, like that. But I I still I still like I love the the original. He kind of looks like a pedophile. I don't know <laughs> if you <laughs> the <laughs> you don't want him to be the original Spider Man films are great movies. Maybe uh, not count the set. Maybe not counting the third one, but the the first two they stand up there as all time greats. Uh, Andrew Garfield Spider Man, I would say Amazing Spider Man. The first movie, I liked it. He got down the 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 the, the talking crap to people. Yeah, the and his, his movement, his yeah, his movements were definitely there. But something happened in between the first and the second movie. Yeah, the second movie, he was that. Um, yeah, the the wisecracking jokes became obnoxious. Yeah, me and Andrew Garfield? Yeah, Andrew Garfield. It was obnoxious. He was cocky. I pretty much fucking hated him. I wanted Jamie Foxx to fucking shock him to death. I hated, hated that movie. Mm. Uh, part two you talking about? Mm -hmm. Amazing Spider-Man 2? Yeah. So, uh, going in, going into Spider-Man Homecoming, didn't have huge expectations, because after all, again, even though this isn't a uh, Marvel movie, this is part of the MCU, Sony is still partnered with them. I don't trust Sony at all. Mm -hmm. But, no, this I loved it. This movie delivers everything, and for for Spider-Man's sixth outing on, on the big screen, yeah. the movie feels fresh. It's What did you think of the suit? The suit, I love the suit. The new suit uh, created by Tony Stark. Yeah. It brings it to, because I think there's a animated series. I haven't seen it, but I've heard that it's close to that, like the suit in the animated series and all the abilities and the features that the suit it has. It was like Ultimate Spider Man. Like, yeah, Ultimate Spider Man, yeah. There just, you go. Yeah, the, the, I, I love that. Oh, yeah. 500 different web combinations to do, web grenades, all. Like, they, they get the suit down. But, I mean, um, ooh, uh, Tom Holland playing Spider-Man, he, he is the definitive Spider-Man. I mean, he is when, Spider -Man, when yeah. you, to me, when you imagine Spider-Man, Spider-Man is a high school kid. He's supposed to be like a younger, a younger person like that. And now he, he nails it down. I, I like the fact that they brought it back to high school and they're going to keep it there. Like uh, probably this new trilogy of movies for Spider-Man. He's going to be in high school. They don't need to rush the stroke. He doesn't need to <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't need to go off uh, to the Daily Bugle right away. But no. Uh, They're going to keep it in high, uh, high school for a couple of years, right? Yeah, I, mean, I, would, I would say you got to have three movies. But they, they had him at, he's only a sophomore in this movie. He's only yeah. 15 years old. All right. But I like how, uh, again, I like how they, they connect the world together. Yeah, Connected to the larger cinematic universe. Yeah. Marvel, yeah, and they get yeah, universe. I mean, they, right off the bat, they did they connected to the uh, MCU right away with the um, Michael Keaton's introduction to start the movie showing. Oh, yeah, they showed off it's eight years later. Suppose yeah. this is eight years later and two months after Civil War, yeah. eight years after the Battle of New York, two years after the Civil War. But I, yeah, I two months, I mean, two months, two months. I like how they, um. How the movie started off showing the destruction uh, of the alien invasion and stuff, and Michael Keaton's cleanup crew is working on everything until Tony Stark's Damn damage control says they're going to take over and pretty much stealing his money. How is he going to support his family? Yeah, there was rumor that the damage control was going to be starting its own television series. I heard that. 
And then they finally decided they opted to go with featuring them in. Uh, I think isn't Spider Man isn't damage control in the comics? There, it's more um, yeah, it's, um, comical. It's supposed to be like funny. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's sort of what DC just did satire. with their their show on NBC that got canceled. Powerless. I don't know if you've seen it. I didn't no. see any episodes, but yeah, it was supposed to be connected to the DC universe and uh, went on for like. Five, six episodes this year, and nobody watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking DC. But yeah, DC is pretty. I don't know. They got uh, high success with their other television programs, but I don't know. They they can't find the magic in the movies. Anyways, we got. Let's talk about the cast. All the casting choices. What like we said, Tom, Tom Holland, Holland was great. He is, what did you think of Michael Keaton? Michael Keaton's a great actor. So he makes a great villain for this film. So I, I, I don't totally buy what? him as the... Uh, the uh, I think he's just he's a regular got, guy. He's yeah, not, the, not a villain. Just okay, like, I, I, yeah, the, the opening, I was like, I don't completely buy his... Oh, you take it... <laughs> I can't support my family. Well, I'm going to fucking steal from the Avengers and I'm going to become a, like, uh, but no, he, he's great. He's a great actor. I love him in uh, the two Batman movies that he did. Michael Keaton is an underrated actor. He kind of, he kind of disappeared like a little after like 95, 96. He kind of, he went off and you didn't see him in a lot, but he's, he's made a comeback and what, last couple of years, his movies at the Oscars have been nominated Best Movie. If you haven't seen Birdman or Spotlight yet, you people should see it. It's it's great. Michael Keaton is awesome. But yeah, he's just trying to look out for his family, though. You know, you can't you can't fault the guy. He has to by his means. Now he can't. Also, it's like a little bit of a. He has a looking for the word. This, I'm losing my words in my brain right now. It's because you haven't smoked yet, man. That's probably why. <laughs> he has a. Uh, he's upset with the you know the Avengers and the whole status of the world and how it is right now and now how he's losing out. Like they put Tony Stark put him out of business. He sees how the superheroes are doing this and that and just not even caring. In a sense, because it's touched upon an age of Ultron, like, oh, no, Civil War itself touches on that. That's how the public census is right now, that they, they think, you know, they're going against the superheroes. This is already in the time frame that where people are already going against superheroes. They don't like the fact that superheroes are just fighting and uh, leaving this total utter destruction and then leaving everybody else to clean up. Well, leaving uh, damage control. Yeah. So it's like a profit for them. He sees it. At, uh, Tony Stark is gaining double profit. He destroys the buildings as Iron Man and then cleans them up as Tony Stark. Which is bullshit. Again, probably, Tony Stark has kind of leaned more towards villain last couple of movies. Age of Ultron is his He's fault. He's a jerk. Age yeah. of Ultron is his fault. Yeah. Civil War is his fault. He's, He's trying fan. to redeem himself, though. You know what I mean? Nah, With all this, like, buddy. helping Spider-Man, helping Peter, like, and then, like, making sure that he doesn't yeah. do what he did. You know what I mean? I do like did. that dynamic in this movie. And Robert Downey Jr., he's always great as uh, Tony Stark. He He's in it just enough. He's not. He's not overwhelmed. I thought, you know, from the from the trail, they'd have you think that, oh, this is Tony Stark was a bigger part a of the Spider Man Iron Man team up, and it is not. I mean, this is the sole focus is on Spider Man, and that's how it should be. It's uh, this one. It's more grounded. Again, he's mm -hmm. your friendly neighborhood Spider Man, and that's what so, uh, Tony's trying to, you know, it's you know, instill in him, trying to make him be the lower level guy, street level, not worry about these big global. He said, it's basically, I'm pretty sure that he'll call him if there's Yeah, I mean, a, he's, got, level. he's got happy watching. Uh, happy Hogan. Ho <laughs> happy John Hogan's Fu watching, yeah, John Favreau. Oh, John Favreau. And watching uh, Spider-Man the whole time. He's great. I love him. Because he directed the first Iron Man, right? And he, the first two. The and first then, two. Uh, and then he quit because the set, the, not a lot of, well, you know, in Iron Man 2, there's not as many people that like it. And 
I, he felt like uh, Marvel took control over the movie and they made him do a lot of things that he didn't want to do. Oh, so, so by like part two, he there was already. Yeah, so he quit after that one. Probably they had a bigger to stay on, you know. But and to the point, yeah, I said he's Ma- great though. Michael Happy. Keaton, you can definitely tell he's having fun with the role and being a bad guy. He's perfect. What did you think of the other villain? Uh, they had two shockers. Two shockers. Yeah, they did. They had. Um, let me see. I'm searching the names right now. We had uh, Bookham Woodbine. Uh, Who came Woodbine. There you go. That's the name. And he's been in a lot of films. Oh, yeah. No, both, the, both, the black one. Guys, the black yeah. Guy. Yeah, yeah, both, yeah. And Logan Marshall Green. He was in uh, that he's, movie Devil. It, it, wasn't, it, wasn't he, with he, it wasn't he used uh, didn't he used to be um, he was on the TV show Roswell it was back on Logan? yeah though like I, he used to be on I think Roswell used to be on the WB or um, UPN it was one of those channels he he does look very familiar like he's been in stuff yeah but, see <laughs> you know, he's been in uh, definitely a couple of things that I've seen I've seen the uh, devil yeah, he's been in Prometheus, and stuff like that. Like, and he's never been like he's never been a main main character. He's always no. played a supporting role, and it was in Brooklyn's Finest. So I remember him from these movies. Now that I, I look at him, I could was like I, I love how they draw. I I love the, the connection to the MCU because the re, the reason why these villains have their powers and have their weapons. Is it's due to the Chitauri yeah. invasion. Shock, due to everything else. Shocker's like, weapon is the weapon that Crossbones uses in Civil War. How he was punching Cap. Yeah, they, the Tinkerer modifies it. But yeah, that's pretty much Crossbones' weapon that he was punching Cap with. The Tinkerer played by yeah. Michael Chernis. Yeah, and originally... Sorry if I'm butchering the names, I don't know. Yeah, originally... Uh, the t- it was people thought that uh, Donald Glover was going to play the Tinkerer. He turns out to play an even smaller villain, but could have an in- a bigger impact on the MCU. Aaron Davis l- later on, yeah. Oh. Aaron Davis in the Ultimate Universe of the Marvel Comics is a uh, vigilante known as the Prowler. Mm-hmm. He has a nephew in that universe which is Miles Morales. He doesn't mention him by name but he does say yeah I got a So we get a mention we get an easter egg a little mention towards Miles Morales. So we know that Miles Morales is in the MCU. He exists in the MCU. Yeah the movie they don't I feel like they they stuff the movie with a lot of name drops and throwing a lot of stuff but it doesn't feel like it's overwhelming either like it's it's not stuff too much Mm -hmm. like again the movie has great pacing to it. Doesn't doesn't ever feel slow in, in any any parts. I didn't feel like that anyway. What do you think about the love interest in the movie? Was it Liz? I did not care for her, but it was by design too because I already saw, I really feel like they just used they needed to use her as the plot device to get to the twist, and so I doubt that we'll see Liz in. Um, any other movies, but well, I mean, we, uh, they didn't focus on her too much as a love interest either, because this isn't a love story. This is about a kid, a kid that's just starting out origin story, just trying to become Spider Man. And I don't feel like, yeah, they didn't want to make it. We've seen we've seen Spider Man in love before, and we've seen him do all that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't need we didn't need that. Yeah, so you think in this one, Kevin Feige and What's uh, Amy Pascal? Uh, yeah, they uh, they tried to address the the fact. Well, it's not the fact. It's uh, I would say fans complaining about oh that they would be they're whitewashing all the the characters and all of them because in this one they they switched up a lot of people here. Like Flash is like what like Indian, Indian type uh, looking. Yeah. Uh, I, I like that the, the kid that plays uh, Flash. He was in um, Budapest uh, Hotel two okay. years ago. That was, yeah, but he does such good. a great job. You don't even care about that. You got Zendaya, who plays Michelle. Her name is Michelle. I, but I've I never 
seen her before, but I, it's <laughs> Disney Synergy. Apparently, yeah, of course, she's a big play. star on the Disney Channel. Of course, they're gonna put that. But excuse me for being a 28 year old man who doesn't watch not, the Disney. I don't even know who's in that. Yet. <laughs> I have no clue who that is. <laughs> But she's supposed to be playing a modern version. Sure, she may or may not be MJ. She dropped that at she's the end. A, uh, MJ, but I don't think yeah, as friends, a sense is Mary Jane. Yeah. Friends, I don't think she's Mary friends Jane. Friends call me MJ. I didn't really care for her all that much either. I don't. She she was um, again. She, she was, had a little like quick quips. Yeah, a little quick funny quips character. At. But I, I'm going to be honest. In the theater, it was when she talked. The audience was kind of silent. Yeah. And even even that that reveal, I, I think they spoiled it in the trailers because in the trailers, oh no, they no they didn't reveal. Like most of her quips are in the trailers. In too. the trailers, so like oh uh, yeah, there was like, you had not not that uh, especially at the ending. She's like, are you hiding something, Peter? And she's yeah. like, no, I don't care. Fell flat, no reaction yeah. at all it, in the theater. Probably because they've already seen it, so they expected to be like more. Uh, they, they lost its you know its its punch because. I'm, I'm definitely glad that audiences are liking this. Critics are loving it. I think it was 93% positive, and it's made over. Everybody? Yeah, it's, it's made, made over 200 mil right oh, now. Oh, what about uh, Aunt Ned. May? Oh yeah, Ned. I was gonna, yeah, I was his gonna get his chairman, his buddy, his other half in this movie. Yeah, good, com- good comic relief. It was funny, you know. I said I would rather take. Take him having a friend than having a girlfriend at this point. Ned is one of the hobgoblins in the comic books. Ned leads, so that's a great. That would be so. We're going to see how that goes. I'm going to see how that sets up. I think it's to uh, because in the comics, isn't it? I don't know if they're going to bring this. Harry Osborn is. One of uh, yeah, uh, Peter Parker's best friends. I don't think they, they named. They didn't do any name dropping of Oscorp in this movie. Which nah, again, no. we didn't need. We didn't need to. I mean, the, the uh, Sony and Marvel have already said the plan for for these new Spider Man films is to introduce villains and characters that we have not seen before, and that's why it need, feels fresh. So how many more times? I think, do we, but I think they need. They really need the Osborns because the Os- Green Goblin. Right. We Green got, Goblin is. Let's say Spider Man's joke. We've got it in five movies already. But still, you you can't have Spider Man. The last, Green Goblin. the last movie, and uh, that's honestly, why Green I, Goblin. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know what you can do with Green Goblin now. You 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 did him in the original, and then you redid him, and you did the you already did the death of Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy can never come back into this universe. I don't want to see her on screen. We don't need Gwen Stacy, but I believe that we don't need Mary Jane either. The Osborns need to be in it because. That is his Joker. That's his. The great. The great. Thing that's his Darth Vader. That's his. his you can do it later. The great thing about yeah, of course they the don't great, have to. The great thing about Spider Man is it's so rich with characters and villains. They have a whole catalog. They're, again, there's at least there's at least probably thirty villains that they could put on the big screen before they go back to old it, shit. They definitely should. And you know, you know my dream. Ultimately, I want to get this made. We need to bring Wilson Fisk into the Spider-Man universe. The Kingpin needs to take over. That to me, when I think of Spider-Man, and that's also because uh, great animated series back in the nineties, yeah. uh, Spider-Man. The I think the the central villain to that show was the Kingpin. Uh, if you ever play the 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 eighties Spider Man video game on Sega, shitty video game, but who was the villain? The main villain in that game? It's the Kingpin. When I think of Spider Man for a villain, I think Kingpin, and they need to bring him and Daredevil into the universe. I if you're gonna do a team up, I want to see Matt Murdock and Peter Parker teaming up, taking on the Kingpin. I think his greatest villain is Norman Osborn. The Green Goblin, and we've seen it. <laughs> we've seen it, but they I know done you don't see it. You want to see That's it like over the same and over thing again. We've seen this is the same. We've already guy. seen Spider-Man. We've seen Wolverine ten times, but yet you want more fucking Wolverine movies. I'm all set. I love Wolverine. There's, there's nothing left. There's nothing left. They there went is. into that. 
well one too many times. They've uh, like always messed it up though. Well, I wouldn't say so much when they uh, right. had a. Uh, All right, you fucked it up World nine times. Fun. You did it one good one. <laughs> you World did it good fun. once or twice, but. I'm pretty sure they can find cast somebody that will do the sure. the character justice and oh, bring. Yeah, it to like the say, it, they don't. I'm not saying like in part two. The in the part two, they don't have to. They could just nope. introduce him. Don't even introduce don't him. Even don't even introduce him to Oscar. Let's not go too far. I say you have to. You can't just bring it out of the blue. You build up Oscar because that's how Green Goblin. Green Goblin doesn't come out of the blue. It builds up. But like I said, where they're keeping it grounded, he's still he's still figuring out his powers. You don't introduce the big guys till later. The second film, who they introduce they introduced this villain in the first one. The Scorpion may be the main villain. Oh yeah, and uh, another another villain that I'd like to see on the screen. He's a he's a smaller villain, but again, for a movie, it'd be perfectly fine. They could bring uh, Mysterio. They're definitely going to bring those people in because they got... Yeah, we're going to see... New- you know what I mean? Them starting off with Vulture, the person that started off Sinister Six, is definitely... Craven the Hunter. Craven the Hunter. You can bring him in. Third movie. Dr. Octopus. That's another one that has to be... Like, Spider-Man has certain villains that you need to put into his, uh, his mythos. You have to have them in there. You have to because they're... They make Spider Man who Spider Man is. Plenty of time. I know he has he has a lot of villains, but you want to have the yeah. ones that make him Spider Man and make him no who he need is. To rush the stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how I, I this believe Abraham how Lincoln once said that. Yeah, <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, don't rush the stroke. And then the great Snoop Dogg said it, but Abe said it first. <laughs> The more you know. <laughs> the more you know. So what's this trivia? You said you were going to have a trivia for us. Uh, the <clears throat> so that's the who was supposed to be casted instead of... That was the next Oh, that's what yeah. <laughs> what My bad. I'm jumping oh, to Oh, my it. God. This Sorry. guy needs weed. All right. Sorry. Oh, but, man. But anyways... Um, we got some Powerade. <clears throat> what What did you think of the ending? Uh, I, you know, I was going to say the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the plot before, twist. Before, the, oh, yeah, I say, the plot twist. I said, um, Liz, I really feel like they threw you off guard with it. I, everyone in the theater was shocked at this. I don't have a problem with the twist. Turns out, yeah, Peter Parker's decided he's not going to be Spider Man. He's just going to focus on being a high school kid. He's getting ready for prom. Great music. Uh, great. Uh, music montage yeah, going, but hasn't he the suit been taken away from him? Yeah, he's after the bridge taken, scene, yeah. so he's the suit's already taken yeah, away. It from gets, him. It gets, he's a little bit like you know, what yeah, am I so going to do without this suit? Yeah, Might as well just go to. He's not going to be a hero anymore. Homecoming. He's going to be a regular high school kid. He's ready to go. Knocks on the door. Who opens it? Fucking Michael Keaton. Throws tunes. you off because Liz is black. He, and you're not thinking what? about this the whole time. You're like, what? Wine blown. <laughs> and like, how gonna, do you expect that to happen? I, I was a little mad because uh, I'm going to say, um, on a, I read on a website before. It kind of spoiled it. It didn't outright say how this was going to happen. But there was a rumor that the Peter Parker's love interest was Michael Keaton's daughter. So when he did open the door, I was like, ah, I, I, I was but okay. it, it, it is a, it is a nice moment because now Peter Parker's freaking out, and the scene when they're in the car together, very and uncomfortable. Michael Keaton's put in two and two together, like, oh, you were doing this, and then was just like, no, <laughs> just yeah, he started to figure out it was him because he was he was trying to see who was the only one that was there at the time who saved his daughter, and then he, he reveals to him that he is the vulture in the car. This causes Peter. What he's about to do? The vultures about to do that final mission, yeah. and he says to stay out of his way, or he'll kill all the people that he loves. Which is only on me, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. And probably he'll kill best his own friend. daughter. You love my daughter. I'll, I'll kill my daughter, daughter too. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I. I like I like the twist. I don't got a problem. The other day we were talking to a friend and yeah. he did not <laughs> like it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have a problem with it. So, and I I know I I like in this movie 
they didn't overpower Peter Parker either. He's still learning his own strength and stuff. They and uh, he still this, has the baby uh, um, training wheels protocol this on is his an, suit. I, this is an iconic scene in oh, uh, the, in the comic books. Him buried under rubble and that's needing, actual ne- yeah, comic book. Yeah, needing scene. needing to uh, find his own strength and get out of it. I mean, again, uh, yeah. It's, it, it's a great scene. I, I like how it all played out, and hey, you 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 really feel bad for him. And, you know, like at the end of the day, he still is just a kid. He's a, just a teenager, but uh, yeah, he gets out of that, and then has his uh, showdown with the vulture. It's crazy. It's kind of cool because he's going vul- through. He's going through puberty as well as going through I having will, these powers. I will say they did repeat. Uh, one, two, well, parts one and two, though, the villain defeats himself. Peter Parker doesn't defeat the vulture. Michael, he was just like, he's like, don't do it, don't fly, your thing's gonna explode. And Michael Keane's like, ah, fuck you. I'm gonna fly. <laughs> he, Peter Parker doesn't stop him. He actually did, but he was trying to warn him to stop. Oh, in order. yeah, yeah. He caused it, but he was, it was him that just, like, basically threw himself, like, the, the villain uh, holding uh, the hero's hand at the end of the movie yeah. from the cliff, and then he's like, hold on, and the villain's just like, let's go and fucking... Yeah. <laughs> sort of sort of like that, similar to that. So, yeah. so, I like the movie. I give it a nine. Definitely a nine in my book. I'm I, I, I give it... It's a, it's an 8.5. Like I said, it's not, it's not the best Marvel movie, but it's one of the best Marvel movies for their first outing. Uh, we could agree that it's better than Captain America, Thor's introduction, Hulk's introduction. This is not actually an introduction. So this is I know, yeah. He, he, we I'm can see saying, this as like a... I'm just saying this is for his first solo movie on his own. Because actually this is like probably the first movie to feature... We can only compare this to Black Panther, I'm saying, uh, I believe. Yeah, because we Black can't Panther is a. That yet, that we can't. Come out. Because. Oh, but yeah, I was going to say. It's of a hero coming from a different movie. I can, from the I can only movie. hope that Black Panther is as good as this. I think it's going to be great. Black Panther okay. looks like it's building up to be something I, grand. I, I, again, my expectations, they're. They're they're not they're not super high. I I didn't mind Black Panther in the, uh, the last movie, but still I go into it. I don't want to go. Oh, it's gonna be the greatest movie ever. I think Marvel continue again. It, it's always good movies. It, That's what I'm saying. MCU they, never. They, uh, turn, they keep turning out great hits. So I, if I'm, you watch Dark Thor Dark World again, but watch it with the notion that the main villain in this film is Loki and not Malekith. You see the movie in a different light. You were like, what happened at that point where supposedly Loki dies? I said, so we know that that's all an illusion. That didn't really happen. Something else happened. But we won't know probably until Thor Ragnarok. To, to me, Thor The Dark World is probably the worst movie in the MCU. But... But it's not by any means a bad movie. It's still yeah. it's like so. If Black Panther can be as good as Thor, then we're in for a good fun time. You know, it passes the time. I love the Marvel movies. Um, I like I like how the movie, uh, the Spider Man movie, ended after he defeated the Vulture. Tony Stark gives him the opportunity to finally be an a Avenger. Part of this, Avenger. Is, this is the whole thing that he. This is all he wanted through the whole film. Yeah, and then I think introduced the suit looked pretty banging. And then he's like, no, I'd rather just be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. And Because <laughs> like, technically, he's right. Who's going to take care of these threats that that uh, come from these? Jessica Street Jones and Daniel <laughs> and Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Fucking There's introduce them. Of, introduce them, Marvel. Come on. Yeah, Kingpin. I see it. They can, who, who's there? They're there. God damn it. Put them in the yeah. movie. Probably have the Shadowland... Uh, comic book but coming I, yeah, to play. I like he he turns he turns it down and then 
Pepper Potts comes out. I like I I love how Brenda Paltrow came back into it because I feel like her contract was up and they didn't bring her back for the last couple of movies. Because where are they really going to put her anyways? But I don't feel like there was never there was never a payoff to her and Tony Stark's story because the last couple of movies she was like, oh, we've broken up, or oh, we're taking time off. I think their 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 relationship was on a like you know it was a little bit rocky on the, rocky, on the last, because from Iron Man three we see that. Supposedly, Iron Man was supposed to retire and stop yeah. all this thing, and then but somewhere along say. the line, he went back in, to super in hero, civil, vigilante. In Civil War, he yeah, he he pretty much confirms, you know, and he's like he's in he's as depressed as he is because he doesn't have Pepper Potts anymore. She's not there. She's like yeah, she doesn't support him anymore. But they threw her in here, and then supposedly they gotta get they gotta get engaged now because. They don't have any big announcement, so he's just like, oh, okay. He's like, I've had, oh, I was happy he had it. And he's like, I've had this since 2009. He probably, I, I guarantee you, that could have been a plot that, where they wanted to put that in Iron Man 2, and MC, oh, they told John Favreau to go kick rocks. Like, no, we're not going to put this in there. So I feel, uh, but that line, he finally he, got to, that line when he's like, oh, I've had this since this. I was 2008. Like, oh, maybe, yeah, maybe they, maybe they were going to do that in the movie. But... Um, so that's crazy. Do you think that that was the announcement at the end? And then, uh, and then they, you had your uh, end credits, end credit scenes, and oh. where uh, there's two of them, right? Yeah, we got the Scorpion, Mike Mac Gargan, talking to the Vulture, Adrian Toomes, and he's uh, saying that oh, supposedly he knows a bunch of people on the outside, which can allude to the probably Sinister Six. They're probably foreshadowing Sinister yeah, Six later on. But yeah, they're, just, they're mentioning you. there's some guys out there that would love to kill this kid. And, and he Vulture knows. could give him up, and but he, he doesn't. doesn't. I think it's to, uh, because he saved him, and yeah. he saved and his like daughter. Say, yeah, that's what he did. He, he gave him a chance to see his family again. And he was only doing this for his family. So he he lets it slide. He doesn't give up his secret. But like I said, um, I've told you this in the past, a better scene when he was in prison, he should have, Wilson, Wilson Fish should have stopped him and just, intri- or just introduced himself. Just, I want to give me a hint, give me a tease that <laughs> Kingpin's coming. Definitely. That would have been cool. Because then you know you have a, a team up with a, and then these guys. we had we had Captain America cameoing throughout the whole movie with these little uh, uh, after school programs talking to the kids and shit. That, that yeah, was we funny. got that. But yeah, that uh, and it was definitely similar to the Deadpool oh, yeah, uh, credit scene where everybody stood to see the scene, and it was just the, fi- yeah, the final scene. Well, he, nothing. He just trolled. They trolled everybody. <laughs> Like, oh, Everybody said it. He's like, how many more do I get to this? It's like, have you ever waited for something and then you find out it wasn't worth it? Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, he, he loses his enthusiasm. But you know, uh, Spider Man overall, it's great. 8.5. Go see it, even though we spoiled the shit out of oh, it yeah. for you. Yeah, warning. There's spoilers in this. <laughs> if you haven't seen it already, I don't know Go why you're listening it. to it. But Go it, stop and see this. It was great, and we'll be back with some more spoiler reviews and talking franchises coming up soon, guys. We'll be back with more episodes. Yeah, yeah.